Welcome to the lecture series of uh, renewable energy sources. Uh, we, at present, we are in module number one. And uh, there is a topic, namely, solution to energy scarcity, which is directly highlighted in the syllabus. Let me talk about the what are the major solution for energy scarcity. You know, it's a major issue, like there is a uh, mismatch between uh, the supply and demand. Okay, the demand exceeded the supply. So what are the major solution to overcome this energy scarcity? As you can observe, we have the several checklists. The first one is actually minimize population growth. That is only one of the best remedy. Similarly, harness large utilization of known and unknown reservoirs. So try to implement new form of energy sources. That is another solution that should be sustainable. Another one is develop RES, renewable energy sources. That is one of the ultimate solution. Similarly, develop energy conversion conservation technique. So try to conserve energy. Like if you are producing one kilo, one kWh of energy, in that 0.5 kWh of energy will be wasted, you know, because of transmission and distribution losses, P and D losses. So be careful instead of the, instead of like a, a wastage of energy, you know. So instead of producing, you know, we prevent the wastage. That is the best solution. Keep po pollution free energy systems. Go for renewable, in spite of go for like a fossil fuel, conventional type of energy sources. You try to switch over, slowly try to have a transition from uh, non-renewable to, sorry, renewable, uh, the conventional to non-conventional source of energy. That means non-conventional means uh, renewable, purely renewable. Then development of cheap and reliable source of energy. Because we need to reduce the cost per kWh, kilowatt hour. Energy, uh, the cost per energy, how much you are spending, like uh, in order to produce one kilowatt of, one kilowatt hour, one kWh of energy, how much you need to spend. So that amount, that uh, uh, the cost per energy, okay, the unit price per unit, that should be reduced. Energy, proper energy management, efficient utilization. To minu to, you need to reduce uh, the utilization of energy. Okay, try to conserve the energy. So anyway, without compromising the requirement, you need to reduce the cost of, uh, you need to reduce the usage of el electricity. Okay, that is called energy management. Optimum utilization of energy resources. Whenever you want to use, Whenever you want to, whenever you require electricity, at that time only you need to use. Uh, remaining time you need to uh, turn off the supply or some adjustment you can do it. Such a way that optimal utilization of sources. Use high energy efficient devices. So try to replace the uh, like uh, inefficient and uh, like a poor, the like a cheap as well as the uh, non reliable unreliable equipments. Okay, suppose some equipment might be damaged. Try to replace at the earliest. Okay, in spite of that, you try to purchase. Instead of that, you need to buy new equipment, high efficient equipment. Example, you might have, you you might be using the like a uh, uh, motor which is having the year more than fifteen plus years. So it consumes more amount of electricity. Correct. So to in order to overcome that, in, instead of that, it is better to purchase new uh, like a motor. Also, try to replace the you know, conventional motor with the high energy efficient motor. And a VFT based system, like a power electronic based drive, you can use. Okay, VFT, VFT system. Like uh, instead of using the normal type of like a uh, system, you better go for like a VFT, uh, like a high energy efficient electrical drives you can use. So these are the few solutions. Similarly, improve the global access to component of raw material. That is uh, the like uh, whatever the material which is required for produ producing electricity, it must be available everywhere. Uh, regardless of boundary of countries. Okay, it must be available everywhere so that people can produce electricity. Even solar materials not available in India. So it, it has to be imported from neighboring countries. Okay, these are the major issues. If the material is available everywhere, it would have been better for production of electricity everywhere. Also, the many, many, most of the villages are under dark. So it is right to go for like a distribution generation. Uh, also, we can go for like a standalone application. Better go for like a hybrid power generation. So these are the few solutions. Okay, because conventional grid it is very difficult to establish in the hilly and the mountain area because it's not possible. There are a lot of uh, obstacles like uh, uh, politics, uh, then uh, like a geographical barrier. Many uh, obstacles are there. To overcome that, we need to have like a distribution generation, like a standalone power generation system, hybrid power generation system, etc. So these are the few solutions. Uh, like uh, this is very important topic. Uh, it may you may get like uh, what are the solution to overcome the energy crisis. It may ask for six marks questions. At least uh, you need to add a minimum of six points, and you have to elaborate it. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any queries related to for this particular topic, kindly put in the comment box. In the coming session, I'm going to discuss about uh, the classification of energy sources and uh, happy learning. Uh, please don't subscribe my channel. If the video is useful, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video.